to the next part of the cardiovascular system examination that is percussion. Now percussion is relatively less important part of the cardiovascular system examination. Uh, but some things may be asked in the MBBS first year examination in the form of OSCE like trace the right or left border of the heart. So let us see in our subject how I will trace the right and left border of the heart. So uh, the, uh, you must know all the prerequisites like your uh, subject must lie at 45 degree means head end must be elevated at 45 degrees and exposure must be adequate up to the waist and light must be adequate. Then uh, for tracing the left border of the heart, first you need to locate the apex bead. I have already explained in uh, my video that how you will locate the apex bead. Suppose I have located the apex bead here in the fifth intercostal spaces, focus here. So suppose your apex bead has been located in the fifth intercostal space, then okay you will uh, mark you will first you know mark the apex bead like this and then you count the intercostal space this is sternal angle at which the second rib is attached this is below which there is second intercostal space this is second this is third this is fourth and apex bead was there in the fifth intercostal space okay so now you have to do percussion. So percussion for the left border of the heart, you have to start from lateral to the medial and start from the mid axillary line. Here I am getting resonant node, resonant node, resonant node at the site of apex bead, there is dull node, I have already marked. Now go one intercostal space above, this is resonant, this is resonant. Again resonant, you have to follow all the rules of the percussion like you have to do the movement at the wrist joint, okay, here it is dull. So again I will mark the point of dullness, this is the, this is the point of dullness at fourth intercostal space. One more space above I will come, I will start from, I will come from lateral to the medial, this is resonant, again this is resonant. Again this is resonant and here it is dull. So you are supposed, so these are three points, one was at the apex beat, fifth intercostal space, this was on the fourth intercostal space and this is in the third intercostal space, lateral which there was resonant note. So you will stop at the point where you got the dull note. So you have to come at least two intercostal spaces above the apex beat. This was the fifth and this is the fourth, this is third. So you have to come at least two intercostal spaces above the apex beat. You can come one more space but this, this much is sufficient. So you have to join these three points. So this is the left border of the heart. This is the left border of the heart. You can uh, make one more point in the second intercostal space like this. So this is in the second intercostal space which is very near to the external border, external border, okay. So at least two points you have to come above the apex bead. So this is the left border of the heart. Now uh, come to the how you will trace the right border of the heart. So for tracing the right border of the heart, first you have to start percussion, okay, and you have to come downwards because first you wanted to know the uh, boundary of the liver. So for liver dullness, first I will uh, start, you know, in the second intercostal space. This is resonant, this is resonant, second, third, fourth, again resonant. In fifth, I got the dull note, probably it is the it is the liver dullness. So I will go three intercostal spaces above the uh, above the intercostal space of the liver dullness. So I got the liver dullness in the fifth intercostal space. So I will go in the three spaces, fourth, third and second. So how you will do? You will go again from lateral to the medial, but this time you will not go from the mid axillary line. This time you will go from the mid clavicular line. So let us see. So. No, this is second, 
So I will go from lateral to the medial, starting from the midclavicular line here. So here I got the dull node. Okay. Again, I will start in the third intercostal space from the midclavicular line. Again, this is resonant, and this is the dull node. This is the dull node. Okay. Again, I will do in the fourth intercostal space from lateral to medial and this is the point of dullness. So three intercostal spaces, uh, three intercostal spaces above the intercostal space of dullness. Okay. So the, you have to join three, all these three points and this is the right border of the heart which corresponds to the right border of the sternum. Okay. So right border of the heart corresponds to the right border of the sternum. Now. Now you must know the causes of deviation of border of the heart. Like left border of the heart may be deviated in left ventricular hypertrophy and right border of the heart can be deviated in the, you know, in the pericardial effusion and in the aortic aneurysm. So you must know the causes of deviation of borders of the heart. Now for tracing the upper and lower borders of the heart. Now upper border of the heart cannot be traced because heart is connected with the greater vessels. So these vessels will also give the dull node and below lower border of the heart cannot be traced. Why? Because this, this is in, in continuation with the diaphragm and the left lobe of the liver. So lower and upper border of the heart cannot be traced. So this is about the percussion of the precordium for CVS examination.